How to use Move tool in Photoshop In order to use Move tool in Photoshop, you can hover this to this. This is the Move tool. If you right click on this, and it will show two tools, the Move tool and the Art Artboard tool. If you hover to this icon, it will show you a short instruction of the Move tool. Move tool is used to move objects or pictures within the workspace. Also, you can use it to move it to the other workspace. Let's say we have, say we are going to create a shape in order to use move tool. Let's say right click on this, we are going to add a, a rectangle, press, shift, so it will create a shape of uh, proportional shape, equally distributed shape like this. But before you make that, make sure you select on shape so it will create a shape instead of path. Now let's create a, another shape. Right click on this and create ellipse. Hold shift to make a perfect circle. If you didn't hold the shift, uh, if you didn't hold the shift, it will create like this. If you want to create uh, an ellipse, or you can press Ctrl Z and create a perfect circle. Let's create another shape, right click, triangle, hold shift, and click and drag, create a shape like this. The shortcut for move tool, you can right click on this. As you can see, there's icon before it. it. That means this is the active tool. And the highlighted this one it means this is the activated tool. Right click, right click on this and click move tool or you can press letter V to activate the tool. can also use the artboard but for this we will try first the move tool you can use move tool to move individual objects or pictures on the workspace let's say I have a three objects like this in in move tool there's an option here shows auto select when I auto select means when you click on object it will select that object as you can see the layer is selected you can select this one it will auto select the other layer also this now click the first uh, triangle and hold shift and and hold shift and click the rectangle so it will select all now you can center this by clicking this one so it will center on this. You can also click on this. So it will be centered uh, horizontally and vertically. You can con press Ctrl Z. What you can do also, once this three selected, you can align this proportionally or, the, or you click on this. So it will create an equal space between this uh, in horizontal way and also vertical say we have a check on the show transform once you click so what once you click the object it will show the transform let's say I have a, on this and on, on this shape with these spaces and I want to distribute it equal space you can Click on this and hold shift to select all the objects and click on this. You can click on this and it will distribute the shape individ or equally. Also for a move tool, you can right click on this and use the artboard. The use of artboard, let's say you have more workspace or in a certain works in a single workspace you have more tabs or other works here you want to make this to create different artboards 
So you can do that also with the move tool. I'm holding the space bar and clicking on it and drag. So you can pan it. Also, you can press H and you can pan on your workspace. So I'm going to press Control Z. Control Z to return it to return it back here. And right click on this move tool. So that's the use of move tool. Let's say you have another workspace. It's a, we uh, we created a new workspace. Create, and I want to drag this uh, or copy this square to the other workspace. What you can do is you can drag this and hold the drag uh, the the object and move it here, and you can drop it there. So that's one other way to use the move tool. So that's move tool. I hope this tutorial helps you. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.